Shalom, everyone. I'm in Jeremy at the moment. Yeah. Thank you. I have two Israelite brothers here, two believers. Um, we have been walking all day through Dusseldorf, so I'm a bit tired now. Nevertheless, um, I promise to make a video, or to redo a video I've made about a year ago, in which I, shalom brethren, in which I made clear that you should not put your parents before the Lord. I'm recording. But um, look, the first part of the video, you can listen to it. But the second part, YouTube messed up the audio. I don't know why, but for some reason, they didn't want that part of the message to come out. So I'm going to repeat in a summary what I've said in that video. Never put your parents before the Lord. You know why? They're just human beings, okay? That's what they are. They are human beings, okay? They used to be young as you, and they used to be little babies also, and they used to be vulnerable also. You don't know everything about your parents. You don't know what they went through as children. You don't know who cursed them while they were growing up. I'm talking about um, enforcing spells upon them. Uh, where you see you know, people tend to do that. Okay? So, and you don't know what your parents got get involved with before you arrive. Because, listen, if you, if your mother gave birth to you when she was 24, that means that the first 23 years she had a, a life. No, I'm not saying a life, I mean she was around before you came around, okay? You, same for your, for, your, for your biological father. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that they may still have some spells or curses on them because they're not over what they went through or what, what people did onto them. So as long as your parents have a trauma, evil spirits can use them to harm you. Okay? And besides that, some of your parents aren't even born again. They're not even a part of the kingdom of the Lord, Jesus Christ. So, they are in darkness and they've resisted the Holy Spirit their whole lives, basically. So they've invited and agreed with Antichrist. So even if they mean you no harm, they've still agreed with Antichrist. So, you can't trust them, because they're an open vessel for the enemy to use against you and to stagnate your development. And there are those of you who have parents that used to yell at you, beat you, um, blame you, scapegoat you, um, play mind games on you, endanger you to feel good about themselves. So some of your parents are demon-possessed, your grandparents also. Some of you come out of families where half of the people are demon-possessed or demon-oppressed. For real. And a lot of you, you come from households where parents included don't want to change. So listen, as a believer, you are, the, the Most High is your father and you agree with him, you obey him. Your parents may have a role in your life as long as that role is in harmony with the will of the Father who is in heaven. The moment someone, whether it's your biological mom or biological dad or a stepmom or stepdad or even a spouse, the moment someone begins to usurp the place of the Mosai in your life, it gets out of hand. And listen, many of you here, I'm just going to be plain and real with you. You don't know your parents. You have an idea of who your parents are based upon the information your parents permitted you to receive about them and based upon the information others told about your parents. You see? So you don't really know who they are. Okay? So, and some of you, you sense that something's not right with those people, but you keep on permitting them to have influence in your life. Nevertheless, you need to stop doing that. Listen, I'm not against parents having a role in your life, okay? What I am against, because this is what the scripture is against, is that the childhood 
parenting phase of your parents is extended into your whole life. Okay, that was never the Lord's plan. And first of all, you live and exist to glorify the Most High. You see, in most cultures, they teach you to worship your parents and to all uh, and worship your ancestors. And also in Western countries, so-called secular countries, this is being presented, but in a in a more mild form. Don't do that. Okay. Look. We should love all people, parents included, but we should not love them just because their parents should love them because the Lord commands us to love all people. Okay? And yes, I have nothing against you being open and transparent with your parents if that's possible. The moment you realize that there's an open door for the enemy to work through them and you realize that they don't want to repent of the darkness they have, then you have to close the door. To their influence in your life. Honoring your mother and father only applies to parents who are born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, in an agreement with Christ. Because to give honor to someone means that you give them weight in your life, to have an influence. And the Lord never commands us to give weight to evil spirits. That means we should never give weight to people that open themselves up for evil spirits by, by agreeing against Christ. You see, many many of those pagan churches, they never want to tell you the truth. Because listen, I see parents, I'm talking about little children now, I see parents kicking their children, I'm talking about in public space, or they're kicking the children, screaming at the children, blaming the children, fighting with the children. I'm talking about against two or three year olds as if, and I even had one mother in public screaming at a child, you've ruined my life, my life is wrong because of you, blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking... Why are you cursing that child for the stupid choices you made? You see? And there are a lot of people that are, that have been harmed by their, by their psychopathic family members. And parents have brought them in, their parents brought them in danger by agreeing with evil against them. And then those, those such people go to come to churches. And what do churches say? No, they are your parents. No matter how bad they are or how harmful they are to you, you have to give them a place of honor, of privilege in your life. That's against scripture. You see? And I see and I saw pastors becoming cowards. And they just gave in to what people wanted to hear. Now I'm not going to give in what people want to hear. You see? The you see, you are living on earth now, and the most high used the salmon that came out of your out of that man, and he used the excel in that woman to bring you up, up in, in, into the earth realm. So, so them having sex together and you becoming born out of that woman was a mechanism the Lord used to bring you here. But you're not here for them. You're here for the Lord. So the Lord should be your central focus. And nobody should come between that. Not your parents, not your spouse, not your children, not even yourself, not even your interest. Worship the Lord alone. And have no other gods beside him. That being said, you all, I hope this video has helped you and may the grace of Christ Jesus be with you all. Shalom.